hi everyone in uh, today's video i am going to be discussing a very important topic this topic is very important especially because this question is often and frequently asked of students going for their oral examination and most of the students get it wrong so i thought i will make a video on this so that your concepts about the center of gravity of the vessel and how it shifts with moving cargo becomes absolutely clear so what is the question that is asked of students the question that is asked of students is that let's say there is a vessel and g is the center of gravity right now this is an upright vessel and g is the center of gravity uh, you can say that there is a you know water line somewhere here if you want a water line otherwise it's not important i will delete the water line because uh, uh, you know too many numbers and letters will uh, create confusion for you so i will delete this so let's say that uh, there is a vessel and the vessel has a center of gravity that is g and this vessel is upright all right now the question that is often asked of students is let's say there is a derrick or a crane and as soon as it picks up the cargo from the jetty let's say there is a jetty here all right there's a jetty here this is the jetty or the wharf whatever you call it as soon as it picks up the cargo and this is the derrick boom all right so just in case if you guys are not sure this is the derrick boom now as soon as it picks up picks up the cargo where does the center of gravity move to right now what students say and i will change the color of the pen here what students say is as soon as the derrick picks up the cargo the center of gravity of the vessel shifts to the cargo here now this is wrong all right and this is what you guys get it wrong and especially when the surveyor gives you different situations of shifting cargo you guys get confused and you get it wrong so this is incorrect all right so you have to understand a basic concept first before we go into the depths of how the center of gravity shifts with moving cargo all right so the first thing that you have to understand is that there is a vessel and it has a center of gravity right which is denoted by the capital letter g all right this is the center of gravity of the vessel center of gravity of the ship or vessel whatever you want to call it all right there is another center of gravity this is the center of gravity of cargo denoted by the small letter g this is the center of gravity of cargo center of gravity of cargo denoted by the small letter g all right now i will show you how each of them behave in different circumstances all right so let's draw a ship and let's get started with how the center of gravity of the ship moves with the shifting cargo now remember that again there is a ship here all right and there is a center line the center of gravity of the cargo is here the ship is here sorry the center of gravity of the ship is always denoted by the capital letter g now this is here right and now what happens is let's say that the vessel has a derrick and it picks up cargo from the wharf let's say that's the first stage all right so what do we have here we have a derrick right at the center line and there is a cargo here and i'll call the center of gravity of the cargo g now before i get started remember that it is only that the center of gravity of the vessel that will shift around the center of gravity of the cargo will always be in the center of the cargo it will never move around so the small letter g always stays with the cargo it doesn't shift around so when the surveyor will ask you where is the center of gravity of cargo you will always say that it is that the centroid of the mask the centroid of the cargo is the center of gravity of the cargo when the surveyor will ask you where is the center of gravity of the ship that is what starts to shift as we move the cargo around and let me show you how all right so here this is the first situation that here the vessel is upright and the center of the gravity of the cargo is here right this is the center of the gravity of the cargo the center of the gravity of the ship is g the vessel is in upright condition here right now as soon as let's say the cargo is picked up from the jetty and let's say it is here at some stage 
it goes here now let me show you here all right this is where now the cargo is it has shifted from g it has become g1 the shift has taken place upwards all right so the cargo was initially at g and now it is at g1 so the center of gravity of the cargo is still with at the center of gravity of the cargo itself g doesn't move i'm only calling it g1 because the cargo has now been lifted from the jetty and now it's at this position position 2 all right this is position 2 so if the cargo is now hanging off the derrick boom in position 2 what happens to the center of gravity of the vessel now what happens to the center of gravity of the vessel is that because the cargo has been picked up and it is moving transversely as well the center of gravity of the vessel will move in two directions it will also move up as well as transversely all right because the cargo boom is let's say on the starboard side let's call it the starboard side and this is the port side so the center of the gravity of the vessel will also move transversely but it will also move upwards why because the cargo has been lifted upwards from position g to position g1 or position 1 to position 2 all right this is position 1 let's call it position 1 to position 2 so because the center of the gravity of the vessel is now moving in two directions moving upwards and transversely the resultant center of the gravity will be here so this is where somewhere here will be your new center of gravity of the vessel all right so you can see how the center of the gravity of the cargo remained with the cargo but the center of the gravity of the vessel has now shifted to the new position g1 when the cargo is at position 2 all right now let's take another position and you will get a good idea of this all right so let's shift change the color of the pen again and now let me draw another drawing all right so this is again the vessel all right again there's a center line the center of the gravity is now somewhere here correct g1 because the cargo is now hanging off somewhere here it was right when i call this position g1 now let's say i have picked up the cargo even higher and now placed it somewhere higher than g1 where let's say i have picked it up here and it's hanging here now here so this becomes g2 so the cargo has gone upwards as well as transversely but now it is moving transversely it is moving in the port direction little bit towards port right so from g1 your center of gravity has not only gone further up from g1 to g2 but it is also gone somewhere here towards the port side right so your center of gravity of the vessel will again be a resultant of these two and sit somewhere here g2 this is where your center of gravity of the vessel will be located when the cargo is at g2 this is let's say position number three now so you can see how the center of gravity is moving as a resultant of the two forces so the cargo has moved further up higher as well as transversely towards the port side you can see that from here to here cargo has moved shifted here right so it's going towards port side that is why the center of the gravity of the vessel is also moving to the port side but also higher so the center of gravity of the ship is now sitting at g2 the resultant of the two movements got it let's take another position so that you become very clear and now i will bring the cargo all the way down into the lower deck of the vessel so that you understand now what happens when the cargo shifts lower so from position g2 what i will do is i will bring the so again let me draw a center line here so somewhere here is your g2 now center of gravity of the vessel and your cargo was hanging somewhere here at position g2 correct now from here let me bring it down all the way to g3 i sit the cargo here now you can see every time the cargo is shifting the center of gravity of the cargo remains within the cargo it is at the center all right so now what has happened the cargo has shifted from absolutely to the topmost position to the lowermost deck so it has gone down all right in the previous two cases the cargo was being picked up higher and higher but now the cargo has been placed down 
although there has not been much change transversely there has been no transverse movement so the cargo is bent vertically down there is no transverse motion so what happens to the center of gravity of the vessel the center of the gravity of the vessel also comes vertically down absolutely parallel to the direction of movement it comes and maybe sits further down from here maybe somewhere here let's say this is g3 now i should draw i should not draw a box so that you guys don't get confused so what happens now the cargo center of gravity of the vessel has moved in a direction parallel to the direction of the movement of the cargo and now the center of gravity is here you see how the center of gravity of the vessel has behaved with shifting cargo so you guys have to remember one thing when the surveyor asks you let's say that there is a cargo which is on the jetty a vessel is upright center of gravity is given to you and suddenly the cargo has been picked up where will the center of gravity of the vessel shift never say it will shift to the head of the derrick no no the head of the derrick is the center of the cargo not the center of the ship not the center of gravity of the vessel the center of the gravity of the vessel will move as a resultant of the transverse and the vertical movements whether it's up or down whether it's port starboard that's why i have shown you two three different examples all right so the first example was you can see here how the center of gravity of the vessel is upright it's where it is and the center of gravity of the cargo is at the derrick head then i started explaining what if the cargo was picked up right from the jetty to different positions position g1 you can see how the center of gravity shifted to g1 of the vessel then position g3 where the center of gravity of the cargo was further higher and transversely it moved slightly to port and how the center of gravity of the vessel behaved and third example was when i shifted the cargo right from the derrick head to the lowermost deck there was no transverse movement here only vertical movement and therefore the center of gravity of the vessel also traveled transversely uh, tra sorry traveled vertically down in a direction parallel to the movement of the cargo all right so it's very important that you guys absolutely clearly understand this because students are often asked this question in the oral examination this is the area of ship stability and students get it wrong although it is so simple do not confuse center of gravity of the cargo with the center of gravity of the ship this is my message to you guys all right so thank you for watching steering mariners guys all the best with your studies and do write to me letting me know what topics you want me to cover next i try my best to answer all of you good luck with your studies and thank you bye